What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. You don't know it's just really Cyrus Cyrus guys. And I know I have been missing from January. From my last upload, which was somewhere around January, guys. So I am here today again to clarify to you guys why I have been missing. So yes guys, so you know my last upload was somewhere around January where I did that short uh, little clip for you guys and it's hard to say guys but my year um from January up till now April has been really really rough on me you know things um did not go as planned because you know from my last video I, I told you that I would continue recording for you guys and I honestly believe me, honestly wanted, you know, to pick up my phone certain days and record for you guys. But I was going through so much guys, it actually seemed to be emotional at times on me. And you know guys, it was honestly too much for me to even try to focus on recording videos. Um, I know it would be good to document all what I was going through for you guys to see, but it was too much for myself to even handle because I've really been dealing with a lot. So I'm going to try to share what I have been dealing with and what I have been going through from January up till this day with you guys. So I don't know if I mentioned in my last video or the one before that that i saw the cardiologist somewhere in november or december november october november i saw the cardiologist um, which is a heart doctor and you know she had me do an echocardiogram and an ecg and from the results she told me that um my heart is not pumping and releasing like it is supposed to also my heart is enlarged which is caused by long-term dialysis been on dialysis for 11 years and yeah so i don't know if you are aware but your heart has four valves right and three of the valves in my heart are not closing and opening like they're supposed to they are not closing properly so it's causing a backflow of blood and that has had me feeling really messed up for the past couple of months you know um to mention a few i have been feeling you know breathless and you know breathing really really heavy like really really heavy heavy breathing and my heart seems to be like racing most of the time sometimes i'm sitting there doing nothing and my heart is beating so hard it's actually shaking my body you understand or if i have a t-shirt on you could see my heart like shaking my t-shirt and my ankles have been getting really really swollen um you know i am I'm on fluid restrictions for dialysis so even if i don't drink a lot of fluid my ankles tend to get swollen and that is also caused by the problem with my heart also guys my sleeping pattern has been really messed up i could not lie down properly I could not lie down properly to sleep for months. Certain times I was even scared to fall asleep in the night because when I fall in asleep, I feel like my breath is like cutting and I would sit up and be like, <gasps> like totally gasping for breath. Like I couldn't breathe for a couple of minutes. So guys, I've been dealing with all that from last year, late December up till this year, early April. So yeah. And there's more that I've been dealing with. Um, you know, um, my blood level, my blood level has been a really issue to me for the past year or so. Because sometimes it feels like every three months that my blood level just drop and I would have to get a blood transfusion. So from last year, late last year up till this year, 
it's like every three months I have to bring in donors and get a blood transfusion because my blood level keeps dropping. The doctors don't know why. I honestly don't know why I have not been passing any blood in my urine or stool. Well, I don't urine it. I've not been passing any blood in my stool. I did not get any cut to say I would bleed out and I would be aware of that, right? So nothing like that had happened. But my blood level keeps dropping. I've been taking my iron tablets like I should. I've been taking my blood booster medication after a dialysis session. But my blood level keeps dropping. Actually, I had a blood transfusion done on Friday last week. Today is um, Thursday. And I'll be posting this video as soon as I'm done recording it. So I had a blood transfusion done on Friday last week. My blood level was down to 6.2. You know? And after the blood transfusion, transfusion on Friday last week, um, the, um, the doctor rechecked my blood level on Monday and it went up to 9.6. So I thank God for bringing my blood level up. And you know, I pray that my blood level continues to make progress because I really, really, really need my blood level to make progress. When my blood level is low, some of the way I feel is that I feel really fatigued and tired for any no reason at all. Sometimes I'm just sitting there and I just feel like I don't have no strength in my body. Like my hands are tired. My legs are tired when I walk. It's like a few steps and I get breathless. And my legs feel like they cannot take it no more. So yeah guys. I have really been dealing with a lot for the past few months. You know. Also guys. Two weeks back. That's a Tuesday. I started feeling a pain, a bad pain in my right leg. It's like, um, don't mind my leg, okay? This area of my leg, on from there, from my between my knee and my ankle, I started feeling a pain. It's not a pain that I could touch and say, you know, they're hurting me and they're hurting me. It's just a pain I was feeling like inside my leg was just paining me. So I went to casualty. And the doctor had casualty say it could be possibly a, bl a blood clot. So um, he sent me to the ward, to him reward. And I spent like a week and four days on the ward, almost two weeks. I stayed on the ward long like that because I had to do an ultrasound, which took a, quite a while to do. Um, I understood. That um you know the ultrasound department was um on a long leads because they had patients backed up because the person doing the ultrasound was on leave for a while so she had a lot to deal with when she came back yeah but anyway thank God I got it done um the Friday before I left and the doctor went for the results and said that there were no Blood clots in my leg. My leg was all clear, so I went home the Saturday. And, you know, but during that week and four days on the ward, I had a lot improve with my health. And I must say again, thank you, Lord, for that. I had a lot, a lot, a lot improve. Let's start with my blood pressure that has been high since last year. My blood pressure has been constantly high, and it could never go down. And during that journey, what I most of the rest was pretty good for me, you know, um, because my blood pressure you now is at a very, very normal range. Certain times, even when I take my blood pressure medication, I feel lightheaded, like my pressure has gone too low. So I have to check it before I take the medication right now. And also, guys, that heavy breathing and cannot lie down properly to sleep, totally gone and you know i'm so grateful to god for that because that has really been bothering me for the past and right now i can lie down properly properly and get a good night rest imagine i lie now and i sleep in until next morning without a river but feeling so good eh? i don't feel so energetic and strong in the morning when i wake up right now because of i sleeping properly and also the heavy breathing and the tight feeling in my chest gone gone like totally 
gone, you know, and also my leg. I haven't seen my leg swell up since I left the hospital. So, you know, that's a plus again, you know, I thank you God for, you know, delivering me from one to three, four, all of that, you know, and yes, guys, so, you know, that what January to now has been like for me, that's why I haven't been posting videos for you guys, you know, but right now I feel great, I feel great, and also, guys, um, hold on a second. Yes, guys, so I got my glasses. You know, if you're in need of buying glasses, you know, you could contact me and I will forward you to my cousin because um, she ordered it for me at a pretty decent rate. And, you know, if you guys are interested in buying any glasses, I will, um, you could contact me. You could contact me in the comments. Leave your number or something in the comments, or you know, leave a message in the comments, and I will forward you with my cousin information because she did the order for me, and you know, the note pretty good. So yeah, guys, I can actually see better now with the announcement of my glasses, and I have started back drawing, and you know, doing my little design. So look out for a joint video anytime soon. Yes, guys. So, you know, as I mentioned, things will always go as planned. And I had really planned to, you know, continue doing videos for you guys. But I had major setbacks throughout the first three months of the year with my dealing with my health. I was a lot, pretty much worried about my health. Because, like, certain times I felt like, you know, things were just not improving for me you know i kept praying about it and i kept asking god you know to help me with it and you know he finally answered my prayer and i thank god for that i also thank god for my family who has been by my side through all that crucial times you know certain times my family would be like leave their phone loud for the night so if i you know they're during the night and i you have to call them then i'll just make a family call in the group chat and any one of them that is awake or any one of them that hear the phone ringing they would answer it, you know to keep me company for the night also guys i can't remember if i mentioned but i had to be sitting up in a 90 degree angle like oh i'm sitting here right now and try to get some sleep like that sometimes it worked i did get like a hour or two hours sleep but sometimes it just didn't happen and you know, I would stay next day feeling beat up, and tired, and still cannot go to sleep because I feel my breath caught in, I'm feeling breathless, I feel like I can't breathe. So it was really rough on me. Um, it was really, really rough on me. But you know, I thank God for delivering me for all that. I feel honestly, I feel really, really great right now. You know, um, that is why I'm recording today because I really feel good. Uh, Yes, guys, so, you know, I will say again, I hate saying that every time, but I will try my best to continue doing these videos and get back on track now that my health is okay for the time. Yeah, guys, so, you know, thanks to all of you for watching, for staying tuned. You know, those who have contacted me, uh, you know, like, we are meeting you, what are you doing, why are you not making videos? Thanks to you guys for reaching out for me. You know, thanks for the family support, the love. I appreciate you all 100%. You know, those of you who haven't subscribed as yet, feel free to click that subscribe button. It's totally free. It's just clicking a button, that's all. No payments, nothing. And, you know, leave a comment, ask me questions. I'm always open to answer any questions that you have. And, you know, also, guys, Feel free to give this video a thumbs up, you know, for thanking God for delivering me for all that and helping me feel better right now so that I'm able to make this video and produce content for you guys. And also, guys, 
don't forget to share this video because this is how my channel is going to go forward you know if you share this video you know share it with a friend share it with a family you know just share it share it as much as you can so that you share more people share and more people share and more people can subscribe you know and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and keep my videos and my channel pushing forward so you don't know guys thank you all and you know please continue to pray guys because prayer works you know continue to pray stay prayed up stay blessed and i just want to say you thank you to you guys again thank you to god thank you to you guys thank you to my family thank you to everyone and you know god bless you all and peace stay blessed everybody